good YouTube, it's your boy, hold up. Elite back at it with another video, man. Shout out to everybody that's watching this video. Comment Nodi Gang right now. Nodi Gang right now, man. If you a part of Nodi Gang, you watching the video right now, man. Comment Nodi Gang in the comment section below, man. And subscribe for more content just like this. I post these types of videos all the time, bro. But today, this is gonna be a special video, no cap, bro. I'm revealing my NBA 2K20 build, and if they keep this build the same the way it is on 2K19, bro, I promise you, bro, this is gonna be the best build on NBA 2K20. I'm calling it out now, bro. So make sure y'all drop a like and drop a sub for more content just like this, bro. And let's get right into this video man y'all know the vibes man okay so step one momentum behind the back pass lane lay yeah <laughs> y'all know what time it is man all right come on come on he gonna guard me this time he gonna guard me this time here you go here you go step back momentum right hand span clockwise green he can't guard it oh my god there's no way you can't guard that oh yeah step back behind the back momentum back rhythm dribble step back green <laughs> the way people play defense on this game is hilarious. Hold up, Dex. Hold on. Jump. Lay. <laughs> That's a bucket, bro. How are you not guarding that, bro? Oh, you didn't mess up now, boy. I got my takeover now. Hold on. Momentum behind the back. Step back. Momentum behind the back. Wide spin. Lay. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all defense is trash. Hold on. Step back. Behind the back. Behind the back. Behind the back. Behind the back. Give me some space. Going to the right, step back, momentum back, rhythm dribble around you, jump, lay in both of y'all. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling y'all, this build cannot be guarded in 2K20. If they touched, if they bring back the same type of play sharps in 2K20, it will not be able to be guarded, bro. Hold on, dime. Oh my god. But guys, just imagine, bro. Just imagine if they bring back the same type of play sharps and if they don't touch the dribble moves and they don't touch nothing about play sharps. If they bring it on to 2K20 just the way it is on 2K19, y'all can't tell me that it can be guardable. Come on now. You have a shooting badge. You have a playmaking badge. Come on now. Like, that stuff cannot be guarded, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Spin moves behind the back. Hold on. Rhythm dribble. Spin move behind the back. Green. See, it can't be guarded, bro. How can you guard that, bro? How? Let me get that ball. Momentum behind the back. Spin backwards where you're going. Going left, going right. Through the legs. Spin move, swivel. Give me some space. Give me some space. Dime. Dunk that. Bang. But long story short, bro, I'm going to just keep it a buck with y'all, bro, bro. I'm going to just keep it a buck. I might be making a me a play sharp. I, to be honest, I thought about making a playmaking shot creator. And a sh or a pure shot creator or something like that but i'm leaning more towards a play shot because it can pretty much do everything but a playmaking shot creator can do everything too you know what i'm saying for the ones that got one you know what i'm saying i'm talking about shot creating first playmaking second they can do everything they can do it all they can fade they can shoot standing shots they can dribble just as good as play sharps can right so i'm literally debating between a playmaking shot creator and that playmaking sharp i'm not sure which one to make when shot creators fade they actually hit them they actually hit them you know what i'm saying when play sharp shoot they actually hit them consistently too so both bills can shoot consistently so i'm not for sure which one i'm gonna make i need y'all help in the comment section below you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day y'all i'm gonna make what i want to make i'm not making nobody else's bill I, I like making the play sharp because i like to obviously dribble and shoot and i like to do other things like this you know what i'm saying hold on spin move through the legs behind the back he looking dizzy lay see i like to do stuff like that you know what i'm saying i like to i like to you know dribble and all that bro should i make a six six or a six five play sharp or should i make a six five six six playmaking shot creator you know what i'm saying like i said if they don't touch the badges if they don't touch nothing about play sharps or play shot creators listen it's gonna be goaded, you know what I'm saying? I don't. Uh, both bills gonna be OP next year, but I, I, I'm still not for sure. Y'all gotta help me out in the comment section below. Now, back in 2K18, I actually had a playmaking shot creator, but I was eyes with him. Like I was not that good with him. I didn't even know how to dribble, bro. But now that I know how to dribble a little bit, should I actually go back to the build that I actually started from? You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure what to do. Y'all gotta help me out in the comment section below. Hold on, I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on him. All right, time to go. Time to go. Crossover, spin move. He looking dizzy. Hard crossover. Bang. We dunk a nose, coach. Bang. You know what I'm saying? I like to do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to definitely miss the play sharp vibes if I go back to the shot creative vibes. I don't know. But enough said about me, bro. I want to know about y'all. Like, what, what build is y'all thinking about making? You know what I'm saying? You probably was a stretch this year, but maybe you may be a playmaker shot creator this year. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know in the comment section below what build you're trying to make for yourself 
and um, I'm interested to know and I respond to all comments and I can't thank y'all enough for 25k subscribers I literally I forgot to thank you guys about that in the last video I made but thank you guys so much for 25k subscribers you know I'm so humble and so grateful for what I have today and since I made it this far we can only go up we can't go down you know what I'm saying we can only go up from this point so like I said I'm forever grateful and I thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart bro a lot of different people is telling me on Twitter that I'm going to hit 100K next year and all that other stuff. But listen, I don't do YouTube for the views. I don't do YouTube for the subscribers. I just do it because I have a passion for it. You know what I'm saying? That's just the mindset that I got ever since I started the channel. And if you're watching this video right now, if you want to be a YouTuber yourself, you can definitely do it, bro. You can definitely do it. But you got to get the view count out your head. You got to think of it as... You know what I'm saying? Like a passion. Like you love doing this. Like you love doing this. Like you love editing videos. You love doing thumbnails. I'm doing this because I'm happy doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to keep doing it until I get what I want. And what I want is to have a job that I actually love doing. Not a lot of people got that in life. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I want. And y'all can get it too, man. All you got to do is keep your head up, stay in your lane. And just keep grinding, you know what I'm saying? It's simple, you know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all drop a like down below and subscribe for more content just like this. Like I said, I post these videos all the time. And I also give my subs motivation to keep going, you know what I'm saying? Especially for the ones that want to be YouTubers and stuff. So make sure y'all drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. I really hope y'all enjoy this video. I'm out. Gang in his bitch, gang in his bitch, gang in his bitch, gang in his bitch.